49 is basically just a repetition of 48, but um, with a different e big F. Okay? So, let's look at 49. So we're defining a function of two variables in the following way. So again, you see the V variables, the upper limit of integration, and the T variable is the dummy variable. We want to write down the partials df du and df dv. Okay, again, push the partial, or I guess the ddu, inside the integral sign. So now I'm differentiating the integrand with respect to u. So this is, uh, sorry, this is a v up here. And so the cosine is going to go to negative sine. I'm going to bring a t to the front. And the 1 is going to go to 0. So I'll get the following. Now I can cancel off those t's. And then all I really need to do is integrate. So I can integrate sine ut with respect to t. I'm imagining that u is a constant. So imagine u is a constant. Dif uh, integrate with respect to t. And I get something like this. And so if I plug in my t equals v and t equals 0, I should get something like this. All right, let's look at the other partial now, df dv. Okay, so let's, let's differentiate this partially with, with respect to v. We notice the v is at the upper limit of integration. So it's a fundamental theorem of calculus. <coughs> so that means we get rid of the integral sign, replace the dummy variable t with v, and just write it down. How are you doing? I'm not sure if there's any more room. Yeah, right. Yeah. So. Okay, yeah, if you want to grab a chair from next door yeah. and, yeah. Are there meant to be this many people in this No, no. This is why I say a subject to, of, like, room availability and seating. Okay. Um, okay, so now, let's go back to the question. We want to calculate the derivative of this function. Again, Hopefully what you should do is realise that this and this, well, we've just replaced v with x squared and u with x. So we're differentiating a function of one variable here. So I think I'll take a, I think I'll take a new page for this one. So this is 49 continued.
Now this is just big F of uv with u equals x and v equals x squared. Okay, let's see if we can formulate our chain rule. We've got g equals big F. Big F depends on u and v. And u depends on x and v depends on x. So we, to calculate dg dx, I look at all the x's down here and I find a path from the top to an x. When I move from letter to letter, I form a derivative. So there's one path, it's df du times du dx. Plus the other path, df dv times dv dx. Now we've already calculated these two partials on the previous page. We can easily calculate these two just from here. So du dx will be 1, dv dx will be 2x. So from the previous page, I have the following. du dx is just 1. df dv from the previous page is just the following. is just here, all over v, dv dx is just 2x. Now let's put it all in terms of x's because we, you know, I guess we're differentiating with respect to x, so let's see if we can put everything in terms of x's. So we replace u with x and v with x squared. So that'll be x cubed in there now. x squared down there times 2x. So we can cancel off one of these x's uh, and we're going to get something like the following when we just clean up the algebra. How's that? Can everyone see up the back? Yeah? It's probably as hard as the chain rule gets. Okay, but you can do it. You can do it. Any questions? You can do it. <laughs>